All right, welcome back. So we we're going to summarize how we find outliers. I'm going to zoom in here. These are our big ideas of the day. So let's do this so you have an easier way of reading it. Now, for outliers, there are two different ways to find it. Way number one, and obviously pause as you need to. The way that we talked about that one and a half IQR is going to be, you're going to go one and a half IQR lower than your first quartile and one and a half IQR bigger than your third quartile. This is going to be the way we are going to be doing things in class. There is another way, just so you don't get sidetracked and say people are wrong. They will sometimes go plus and minus two standard deviations from the mean. And that keeps everybody within 95% of the mean, and anybody further out than that is going to be considered an outlier. Pluses and minuses to both, but again, we're going to use the IQR method there. Secondly, we have box plots. So you have a five number summary. The five numbers that you have is going to be your minimum, which is found there, your quartile one, which is the lower end of the box, your median, which is the line in the box. That should be quartile three. My apologies. Gotten distracted. Quartile three, which is the top of the box, and then you've got your maximum, which is the top of the line. And then we have any outliers over there that we're going to end up needing there. This outlier here, you could say, oh, push it back there so you make sure you know how to find it. Okay. Last but not least, we can now kind of really fill in how we talk about comparing our distributions. Okay? You want to be able to compare distributions. You want to compare on our four characteristics that we've been talking about the last couple of days. Shape, outlier, center, and variability. Now we can calculate most of these. Shape is pretty much self-explanatory like we talked about. Symmetric, skewed, etc. Outlier, we now have 1.5 outlier methods. So that's how we're going to determine if we have outliers. Center, we can either use the mean if it's symmetric or median if it's skewed. We have variability. We can use the range. We can use the IQR if we have a lot of outliers. We can also use the standard deviation that we talked about yesterday. And lastly, please do not forget to make sure you always use context and you're going to use that comparative language. You're going to go through and you're going to use LY words. You're going to say this is larger than this. They're approximately the same, that type of thing. So that you're comparing the two and not just listing off a bunch of properties. Now, down below, as usual, we have a problem. Um, I'm showing you the two box plots of the points scored between the Green Bay Packers last season and the Chicago Bears. So you are two. I would pause here, write a few sentences comparing the two, and then you can come back and compare, compare them to what I'm doing, right? Okay, welcome back. So this is what I wrote. Now, if you look at this, notice the ranges are about the same. The center, obviously, of the Packers is much higher than the Bears. Okay? So the very, in the top of my head, the variability is about the same. The centers, the Packers have been scoring more. The center is a higher average, higher mean score, however you want to do that. So here's what I came up with. The distribution of points scored by the Bears are skewed right. Why is it skewed right? Because notice here, this distance here is bigger than this distance here. Packers kind of have the same thing, but it's not quite as extreme as the Bears. So the Bears, the distribution of points scored by the Bears is skewed right, while the Packers are skewed right slightly less. The center for the Bears is at 17 points, and they put median so that everybody knows what we're talking about. While the Packers' median is 20 points, the variability of both teams are approximately the same as the ranges are about equal, and neither distribution has outliers. So notice... We talked about the shape, and that's here, skewed and skewed. We talked about outliers, that's down here because we really didn't have any. Centers, we talked about here. And then we also talked about variability, which is here. The ranges are about equal, okay? So hopefully that helps. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. We'll see you in a bit and talk to you later.